Hello everyone, Ginma the Samurai here, and welcome to the finale of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Alright guys, this has been a long time coming, and I'm really excited to beat the game today. Um, I love, love this game. You guys know I do. And in general, even though that was quite the journey last time, um, I think it took me about two hours, like, you know, in the real life, not so much what you guys saw for me to actually do all of that. Uh, so it was a bit of work, but you know what? I'm really happy with the way that turned out and everything. I mean, hey, at the very least, we managed to get everything done. Um, I haven't actually edited it all together yet, but I'm really excited to. And yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and take out this guy as soon as they don't let me. Um, I don't think the doors are locked here, actually, so maybe I'll just ignore them. Um, because I don't want to use my ammo too willy-nilly, but yeah. Um, so right now we're heading over towards the portal nearby, well basically on the pathway towards the Torvis Bog, um, the one that is right up there, and we're going to just go through that portal, and we're going to make our way over towards, you know, the Sky Temple entrance, so here we go. I will openly admit, though, that this is definitely a lot less close by than um, the <laughs> entrance to the final boss in Metro Prime 1. In Metro Prime 1, it's like within a couple rooms. This one, you kind of have to go through a few more rooms to get there, and there isn't really like a save point nearby to it. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a walk, but it won't be too bad. Um, anyway, in the meantime, because I legitimately hate fighting these things, I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and then that will just take care of the problem, to be honest. Um, so let's go ahead and just shoot that, and then we'll get ourselves our dark ammo back, and okay. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get a move on. But yeah, um, I am still very excited to beat the game today. Um, I kind of want to do a bonus part just to talk about, you know, some of the side stuff, you know, kind of like I did for Samus Returns, but I may actually, uh, wait a little bit to get around to that this time. Um, Mainly just because, again, I've been doing a whole lot in general, so I'm probably just going to, like, beat the game and then get around to that at a later point. I think that might be just better overall anyway, um, just because I want to take a break before we get into Metroid Dread later. I think that'll just turn out better. Um, but, yeah, anyway. I think one thing with my commentary, for sure, is that I have a tendency to kind of date my videos a lot of the time, but I think it's also kind of fun to, in a sense, other people will probably disagree with me on this, but I think... Um, it's, it's kind of a fun little time capsule in a lot of ways, you know, like you can kind of see where I'm at at the channel and you can kind of see like what year it was, what was coming out and everything. I think that kind of has its own value, at least in my opinion. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and enter inside of this and we'll activate the portal. Let's go. All Sky Temple keys have re have been returned. You can now enter the Sky Temple. Nice. Yep, that's it up there. All right, here we go, guys. Let's ride this beam of light. Oh man, that's trippy. <laughs> I'll bring up what else is trippy in a moment, but yep, that's the energy we need to get. Alright, so, um, fun fact about the Sky Temple here is that it's basically like the Great Temple in the Light World, except upside down. Um, so that's kind of interesting. So over here we're gonna go ahead and use this save point and then we're basically just gonna make our way over towards the final boss fight. Um, this fight, 
I, I'm not 100% sure how this is going to go down because generally speaking, uh, it has given me trouble, but I want to try out a few things when I go to fight it and I think it'll work out. Um, by the way, if you guys know <laughs> how Metroid games kind of have the, like a screen where they'll show you some tricks and stuff that you can do or some later abilities and everything if you kind of hang on the title screen, uh, one thing I really do not like is that they kind of have a shot from this final dungeon in there in hindsight, um, even including this suit in the shot, which honestly, you know, we kind of, I've given Metroid Dread crud for doing stuff like that more recently, and you know what, it, it's kind of interesting, I suppose, to see things haven't really changed from that perspective. Um, but yeah, here we go, guys. It's time to do this, the final boss. Alright, so, anyway, this is the final boss, the Emperor Ing, and also, I really, I, I think I mentioned this before, but I really like this game's idea of, like, theming, where they'll introduce a smaller enemy, and then they'll introduce a bigger enemy that will basically just, like, kind of, you know, be based on the older one. So this is kind of like a giant inglet right here, and I really like that. Um, anyway... So one thing I usually do for this boss fight, although the boss takes a lot more hits now, is I'll use the Seeker Missile on this phase, but it's definitely a lot trickier to do in this than it is on Trilogy. This is one fight that is 100% easier to do on the Trilogy version, um, and I've never done this on hard mode in particular, so uh, wish me luck on that. Okay, anyway, ow, ow, I've already lost a tank. I need to be a lot more careful. Why don't my missiles ever hit? Alright, you know what? Ow. Okay. Alright, this is not going well right now. Um, alright. That's fine. Alright, so it's working out. Alright, so this is what I normally do for this phase is I will use my super missiles to basically just do as much damage as possible when this phase comes on. Um, it'll kind of circle around. And I'm just gonna scan that right now before it disappears. Okay. Anyway, so this first phase, not horribly difficult to get through, per se, but it is um, certainly a thing you wanna be very careful about. All right, so I think when he goes for that one attack, you have a really good opportunity to take him out all right, so I think with this part, you just kind of want to get moving because it's just going to move its tentacles through, you know, those, like, time-space portals. So, you just want to be very careful. Um, all right, here we go. Let's finish off this phase. Wow, okay. I, that was kind of delayed from the laser, but all right. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and scan this really quick. Um, so, I mentioned before that there was one room in the Sanctuary Fortress that I considered kind of foreshadowing. Um, this is it. So, uh, God, okay, wow, those guys are being aggressive this time. The Inglets just go after you, <laughs> I guess. Um, Alright, so that's going to take out both of those. So basically, you want to find spots like right here. And you're basically just going to want to use power bombs, you know, if possible. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, it's just going to save us some time here. Okay. Plus, I have, like, plenty of power bombs, so I think that'll just work out better. Okay. Alright. Oh my gosh. Wow, you are just being on me right now. Oh! Yes, okay, we got that. Nice. Alright, 
So yeah, they really want you to just use power bombs on these. Okay. Also, the gas raises and lowers as this uh, fight goes on. Um, Jeez. It's really bad when you... Okay, wow, guys, back off of me, please. Okay, anyway, um... Nice, okay. Okay, excuse me? That should have hit. Uh, alright. This is fine. <sighs> All right, that's fine. Let's just come on. All right, yep, that worked for that one. You can use more fall bombs. Um, I need to worry about my health a little bit. Okay, come on. There's. All right, come at me, dude. All right, there we go. It's like probably the last part where I get to use power bombs. I love that. All right, so this is the true form of the Emperor Ing. And this fight is something else. Okay, so here's the dealio with this fight. Um, its weak spot is its mouth. Pretty straightforward. Um, the tricky part is that one leg is like right in front of its face. And also this fight is kind of interesting because he's like a giant warrior -ing, Which again, ties in perfectly with that theming that I mentioned before. Um... Actually, I should just go ahead and do that. Hold on. That's fine. You can do that, I can do that. <laughs> Alright. So, every single phase, um, he switches back on this barrier. Um, so you kind of want to watch out for that. He'll also start trying to tackle. Oh, I really hate when he starts closing his mouth like that, or his face mouth whatever there we go nice okay oh my goodness yo I managed to get it off nice I got the beam combo let's go wow that used a lot of missiles okay that probably was not worth it. Ugh. Okay, when I did this fight last time, it was on normal difficulty where he took way... Like, <laughs> like it took a lot less hits to get his HP down. I'll say that much. Uh, okay. Alright. On. Nice. Okay, I got the timing down on that. Alright. Ugh. I really do not like the. <laughs> I think this is the first time Dark Matter has actually, like, frozen me, which actually is kind of weird because that's a thing that I do. Okay. Uh. You know, it's a little weird that the king of the dark monsters has the ability to just kind of swap around. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Okay. I really don't like this. See, so yeah, again, when he's red, that means his shield is up. And he's going to get more aggressive when his HP gets lower. I may die, honestly, at this rate. Which, I mean, hey, it's what I asked for when I chose hard mode. Oh man, I thought maybe I could just jump over it. Alright, they really wanted me to strafe that. <sighs> Come on.
Come on. There we go. All right, so he's half health, so this is when he's gonna be on full, just brute mode. All right, there's something kind of cool about this, which is actually, in my opinion, I think it's a Metroid 2 callback. Or if it isn't, it's a fun little reference at the very least. He has a weak spot on the back, but you don't really have too many opportunities to really exploit that. Um, that one part being like the main moment. Ooh. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna use a light beam. Oh, come on. The worst part about that is when he just disables my gun for like a little bit. Ugh. Come on. Nice. All right. Whoa. Oh man, he did not show his weak spot to me that time. All right, so when he goes for yeah, the three stomps, get ready for it. That's when you get to exploit it. All right. Man, my ammo is getting low. Come on, you jerk. All right. Oh, nice. Okay, give me that light ammo and dark ammo. Just give me the ammo, like all of it. <laughs> what? Why? Dark beam, you suck. Oh my god. All right. Yep, that's back. Oh, nice. Nice shield there. Okay. Oh, I got that shot off. Nice. Okay. Ow. I really don't like that. No. Ain't having none of that. Alright. Alright, we're into the last fourth here. Alright, we're doing that now, huh? Alright, come at me, bro. I'm ready for you. Yeah! Nice. Okay. Oh, nice. He stopped. Okay. Come on. I can't forget. That one doesn't home. Okay. I gotta watch my ammo. Alright. Come on. I'm gonna actually run out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Come on. Alright, I, I don't like this situation I put in. <laughs> also, I really do like how as he gets weaker, you can kind of see, like, how damaged he is in the face. Um, ah, yeah, this is how I can get my light ammo back. Come on. Come on. I was hoping for more than that. Could I have used power bombs on the night barbs? I mean, in theory, right? Maybe. Okay. Oh, come on. You could have chosen anything but that. I mean, I have more ammo, I guess, so that helps.
Oh, come on. I have one more shot. Please don't eat it, Night Barbs. What? What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? Game? 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 What? That's a first? What? What? I'll see you guys back at the... I'm gonna beat the boss, I guess. Okay, so we're back. That's a new one. Thank you, GameCube. Um, glad you still got some new tricks of a similar variety. I've never seen a GameCube reset itself. Oh, dear. Oh, that's, that's definitely a new one. I... Has anyone else ever had that happen? Because I have never had that happen. That is for sure. Um, if you've had that happen, let me know. I am legit. That's my question of the day. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Well, either way, um, that's how you know this is the true final boss. The true final boss was the GameCube all along. Um, oh, my God. I don't know. I feel like that's so unique. I kind of have to keep it in. Um, it's okay, we're keeping in, we're, we're, we're doing this at least, which, which is the, you know, main thing. Um, okay. Alright, I'm gonna like, oh man. Yeah, it's like the only thing I can think of that might like maybe work is... Come on. I'm trying to figure out, like, the timing for this thing, because it sucks. <sighs> it's alright. Come on. Like, the way this thing moves around in that hitbox, I just miss so often, because it's so erratic. Okay. Yeah! There we go! Yeah, that kind of reminds me of Dark Samus a little bit, the way it exploded. We gotta get out of here. Hey, so if you guys are Metroid 1 fans or you played Zero Mission, at the very least you'll recognize this too and they brought back the OG escape theme from the first Metroid game. I love it. Uh, also, fun fact, yeah, the original Metroid Prime did not have an escape sequence in it. Uh, it just kind of said that, the, you know, a thing was going to explode and then Samus escaped in the cutscene. Um, but yeah, no, we have to actually escape. I'm actually getting some ammo out of this real quick before we just continue onward. Um, that should be a giveaway that we're not done. But, um, even still, we gotta go ahead and get moving. Alright, here we go.
Oh man. <laughs> Gosh, this gets me every time. Yep, that's Dark Samus, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and scan it. Alright. Here we go. So, uh, interesting thing when it comes to Dark Samus is... Um, oh boy, oh, you're doing that now, huh? Yeah, so we gotta fight Dark Samus under the threat of the time limit. Alright, so here we go. We got attacker while in this state. Alright. Oh. Okay. Oh, you're just gonna go for that attack again, huh? Alright, that's fine. At the very least, Dark Samus has a very simple pattern, but the time limit is definitely a factor you gotta worry about. Alright. Oh, we're doing this now. Okay, so this is an interesting part of the fight. Um, oh, we got it. 100% of logbook scans. Let's go! Alright, anyway. Um, so what you gotta do with this fight, it's, it's a little bit obtuse. It took me a while to figure out how to actually beat Dark Samus in this part. So basically, uh, Dark Samus releases these particles, and when she does that, you gotta suck it in with your charge beam, your regular charge beam. Okay? So anyway, um, now that she's back on the ground, I'm just gonna wail on her with the Annihilator Beam, just to do some chip damage, because the real damage is gonna be the method I just explained, and that's it. So, we gotta try and work with this. The, the time limit is your worst enemy here, because you gotta, well, I guess Dark Samus's AI is the worst enemy here, because, um, at the very least, she tends to do a 1-2 at the very least, but sometimes she does a bunch of that in a row, I guess. Really? Come on! Wow, that's like some of the most I've ever seen her not do the thing. Okay. Wow, nice. Alright, that's fine. This is fine. Come on, just go back into the center, alright? <sighs> Come on. Come on! Oh my gosh. Stop. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that's some. Um, oh, I'm worried about that time limit. Come on. Uh, okay, that's fine. This is fine. Yep, so that's some damage. Alright, there we go. So yeah, my advice is just... <laughs> do the fight as intended, but when Dark Samus gets on the ground like that, just pot shot her with a super missile, since you're holding the charge beam anyway. Um, oh my gosh, no! Alright. The thing that's tricky about that is it isn't super reliable. Um, come on, give me another. Alright, that's fine. Fine. This is fine. Okay. Alright. We might be okay. I think we'll make it. See how she reacted to that. Come on. Yeah, so you can tell which one she's doing if the barrier enlarges first. Oh my gosh! That last stray shot! Okay, that's fine. This is fine. <laughs> okay. Alright. Come on. Come on. I need that phase on energy. Give it to me. <sighs> ah! Come 
then? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Fine. All right, that worked out. That's okay. All right. Oh, come on! It's because I don't absorb all of them, and so then a stray one hits me. Oh, God. Okay. I don't like this phase at all. I'm, I'm getting actually scared. We're... Come on. Yeah, okay. It's the amount of damage she's taken. It's not enough. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, I think I got the feel for it. We just need one more, I think. No! Mother! Ah! No! Come on. I can't afford to... This is gonna be running to the wire if I actually manage to pull this off. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, come on. Just give me what I want. Give me what I want. Please. Okay. Yes! I want to leave that up to your guys' interpretation about that, but, man. Got out. <laughs> that was so close, though. I love that. Uh, that will always be one of the most iconic exits for me with Samus. Just that hand wave. Man. This 
Samus's face on the other hand. <laughs> I mean, I guess that looks pretty good for the time, but still looks kind of weird. Yeah. Either way, moving on from that. And with that, guys, we have beaten Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. <sighs> yeah, I, honestly, yeah, this is my second favorite Metroid game. Not horribly far behind Metroid Prime 1. Like, I, I legitimately, I love this game. Um, it's a lot harder than Metroid Prime 1. Um, in general, just how the dark... At the dark world atmosphere in general just adds a lot to like how carefully you explore around during those sections I like the a lot of the creative ideas this game had the sheer amount of ways that this game found to use the morph ball in particular I think is like a really cool way like it just took everything about Metro Prime 1 and then just expanded it with a bunch of like new ways to use it while keeping like the core gameplay kind of the same and I really like that um in general, I think in my opinion, the ammo system, which was very controversial for people, I feel like it actually worked out pretty well in the case of this game. Um, I really, 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 really liked how, you know, it, it added a sense of tension to fights because you have to worry about your ammo conservation, like in particular that final boss fight. If I didn't have the, you know, beam ammo to worry about, it would be a totally different fight. And the fact that I had to switch back over to my regular beam and then use, like, you know, the super missiles to try and weaken the barrier to conserve on the ammo for the other ones, even though those would have done more damage, great. I think it just added a ton of challenge to this game. Um, I don't know if I necessarily want that for every single Metroid game going forward, but I think a lot of them had, well, I think Samus Returns did something similar with the Aeon meter, and I think something like that would actually be really cool in the future, like something that you could have, like, special uh, abilities that kind of have, like, its own ammo pool. I think that'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, um, in general, I just love this game. Um, I think graphically it is slightly weaker in terms of like the actual like texture quality compared to Metro Prime 1, if that makes any sense. But I feel like most other things are better in this one. Like I think the art direction is incredibly solid. It every single area has like some really good art direction even like the desert area you can kind of tell how that architecture kind of works together with the other things and there's even some environmental storytelling like the first opening areas of the ag and waste there's like the, the these two twin worms and then it's like a nice uh foreshadowing because you end up fighting that thing later um the smaller enemies that end up having a bigger one later which i i like that running theme um i like the the, oh, the music's really good in this game, too. Um, I think I prefer Metro Prime 1's music in terms of, like, the actual area themes and all of that, but, like, the boss themes in this game are pretty darn good. Um, I, in general, I feel like this one has a lot more balance. This game also has a lot more boss fights than Metro Prime 1 in general, in comparison. A special thanks to Yokio... Yokio? Yoshio Sakamoto. Uh, hey. Uh, in general, I just think this game is like it, it's just good like um i feel in general it is incredibly valid for me to make the statement that this game is like the metroid series is majora's mask in the sense that majora's mask was kind of frowned upon for many years and it reused assets from ocarina of time it, it had its fans but like stuff like the time limit system and uh, all these other weird mechanics ended up turning people off a lot of the time and uh, over the years though it's kind of become the favorite of the two depending on who you talk to uh, in my case i prefer majora to ocarina um i feel like there have been moments where i swing towards liking prime 2 more than prime 1 but then at the same time, I know Metro Prime 1 a lot more, and Metro Prime 1 is kind of like my go-to if I want like a more comfy game, if that makes sense. Uh, this one's a lot more challenging, so it's a little bit harder to get that experience, but it also means to get a hold of better for me. So I, I love this one. It's so good.
percentage complete 100%. Total time, 9 hours, 46 minutes. Two hours of that was that item hunt. Storyboard gallery unlocked. Let's go. <laughs> oh, gosh. Looks like someone survived. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and save. And with that, oh, man, I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this playthrough of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and this is one of my favorites. I don't know if I'm going to do Prime 3 anytime soon. Um, this one was significantly more draining to Let's Play than Samus Returns, and I think it's just because of how long it is. And also, in general, I feel like the hype isn't so much here, so I may choose to wait until we get more Prime 4 news to do Metroid Prime 3. I think that might be a better way to go about this. Um, I waited a bit between Prime 1 and Prime 2, so why not? Um, but I'm sure you guys may not be too upset over that. If you guys really want to see Metroid Prime 3, like, just let me know. Um, it's just like I said, I kind of want to do games that, like, you know, I, I are on, like, the more shorter side. And in the case of Dread, I'm just excited to play it. Like, period. <laughs> um, but I, I really do love these games a lot. And Prime 3... I'll, I'll go into that when we get there, but that one's a complicated case with me. <laughs> I think it's a good game. And I'll leave it at that. I think it's a good game. So, uh, but again... I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this playthrough. I, I, I seriously thank you guys so much. Um, this has been a lot of fun. It's been a great honor to play this game for all of you guys. And I do want to do a bonus part uh, talking about, you know, like the art gallery stuff and uh, the multiplayer in particular because that's that's a big thing in this game um, to a certain degree. Um, and I would like to show it off in this version, although like I'm a little bit limited in how I can go about that. So we'll find out. But... I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I've said that a million times. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. And I'll see you at Metroid Dread or Metroid Prime 3 if you decide to binge this years from now. Random person, shout outs to you. You're a beautiful person. Um, but again, uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Have a great day and take care. Mm, bye.